Hey guys, let's let's talk. Okay. I've been covering a lot of Nintendo Switch stuff. Some good stuff, bad stuff, some stuff that's like, why even bother? This game is horrible, it's not relevant, it's shovelware, you might be telling me like it is. And the one the one main question that needs to be answered is why exactly do I put myself through this? Why do I review games like Ben 10 or Cartoon Network Battle Crashers? Well, it's, it's plain and simple. Someone has to do it. 8-Bit Eric is the hero that you guys don't want, but deserve. And that's that brings me to today's review. I'm going to check out Hello Kitty Cruisers for the Nintendo Switch. Oh man, this is going to be good. So, Hello Kitty Cruisers. Yes, I am reviewing a game that's catered to little girls. And I guess it could be said that 8-Bit Eric is a little girl. <laughs> Anyways, all jokes aside, Hello Kitty Cruisers is a kart racing game that was also previously on the Wii U. And actually, at one point, commanded a pretty high price. Like, 90 bucks going and up on the Wii U. I guess it was a limited print game that came out at the end of the Wii U's life cycle, but it also got ported over. Asshole got ported over. And ow, uh, bleh, I can't talk today. And also got ported over to the Nintendo Switch earlier last year. Luckily, it wasn't for 90 bucks because I swear to God I wasn't going to dish another 90 for the same game, but I dished about $30 for the same game. Found it at GameStop pre-owned, and I decided, you know what? I didn't review it when it was out on the Wii U. Now it's time to talk about it. So, kart racing game featuring Hello Kitty and the Sanrio friends. I have no idea about anything about Sanrio except like the frog guy and the penguin guy. And they're cute, they're quaint. But yeah, you play as all the characters from the Sanrio games in a variety of different levels, races. There's kart racing, there's airplane racing, there's boat racing. Like, what is this? Diddy Kong racing? Actually, no. It fails in that department. It does show potential in regards to the different types of vehicles that you can race with, but that's about it. I mean, on paper, that sounds cool. The Hello Kitty franchise and everything makes millions of dollars, and that's probably why they decided to cash it in with a game. They knew all the kids, especially all the little girls, would clamor to play this game and why not bring it over to the Nintendo Switch because nobody bought it on the Wii U. Sold like hotcakes probably. And, and is this the definitive version of this game? I, I mean, nothing's really upgraded to be quite honest. You could tell that this game is incredibly outdated. Sure, it has this nice little shell shading, cell shading, I'm mush mouth today. That's my new nickname, 8-bit mush mouth. Comment down below. Uh, any comments talking about my speech impediment and get 10 bonus points and yeah, cool guys. So yeah, anyways, back to the game. You get to play as the characters in a variety of different races. The graphics do look a little nice, but barren at the same time. The level designs are really basic. You're not going to see any ramp jumps. You're not going to see any shortcuts. You're not going to see any real good animated level design like on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe which is probably the best racing game on the Nintendo Switch bar none uh, you know the level design on that game is amazing but on this one it's plain this is almost like a art project that a college kid made to get a grade for the end of semester there's nice colors and everything but the textures the shapes of everything the backgrounds everything just seems like a step above a remastered N64 game and for that I could say that the level design is incredibly lacking. It's boring. At times, it's like, oh my god, I gotta go in a third lap already of this boring-ass level. And yeah, and, and the characters don't really have any personality either, which is very disappointing considering they're based off of cartoon characters. You would think there'd be a little bit more personality, some voice acting, but no. And on top of that, the items that are given in this game are not even creative at all you got like a, a orange cone that you're supposed to throw behind you that people run into some pies 
and just it's not consistent basically there's a variety of weapons in the mario kart games that you can get during your races that add a lot of flair and add a lot of fun but you're not going to see any of that flair on hello kitty racers at all so it, it's basic in its design and this is another example i know i keep saying this with some of these kids games that aren't coming out of a game that basically was just dumbed down and made into a as simple as possible type of game for children and these developers take advantage of the nintendo switch and its popularity and the fact that parents think oh it's nintendo it's for kids and they got kids games and I would be fucking pissed. I mean, we had shit growing up on the NES and Super Nintendo that were horrible, but not this bad. I can't recall a racing game that is as bad as Hello Kitty Racers. And it, and, and the, here's the thing. It, it, it had potential with the air racing, the boat racing, and the kart racing, but the levels, like, there's no point or any difference in anything on this game other than what type of vehicle that you're racing in because the levels are just as bland no matter what you're doing. You would think they would make a kick-ass air level if you're going to be playing in an airplane, but nope, nothing. Uh, the Sanrio friends, well cute, basically born as as my personality in here you know i could i could take a shit that's more entertaining than this uh you can play up to four friends if you want to do that if you can find four friends that are willing to sacrifice their time and play for a good race or two you might be able to do that but honestly i wouldn't even recommend this game for your children and yeah it's a good thing that it's not a full price release however i i still would say even if you are a hello kitty fan if you must have hello kitty Please do not go out and buy the really expensive Wii U version. Unless you get lucky, like my uh, girlfriend's brother, he found it at a, a Savers or a thrift store for like a few bucks. Then do that. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, you would be better off going and buying fucking 30 McDoubles and eating them and having diarrhea for the rest of the week than going out and taking a look at Hello Kitty Racers, which is why I look like a bumbling idiot for playing this game again somebody's got to do it guys so yeah with that i can't recommend this game at all it's it's horrendous it's bad it's boring beach buggy racing on the nintendo switch is 20 times better than this so guys with that there's better kart racers on the nintendo switch you should avoid this one by all cost and if you're new to the channel actually you know what if you played this before comment down below and let me know your experiences all right, and and you know what? That's it. I, I'm done. I'm fucking done with Hello Kitty Racers. Probably never gonna put this in my Nintendo Switch again, even if I was paid for it, which that would have been nice. But Sanrio, don't give me shit. So yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, throw a subscription, comment, like, all that good 8-bit e-beggar stuff, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Stay radical. Peace out. Yours truly will be at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo February 23rd and 24th in Pasadena, California at the Pasadena Convention Center. There will be a free play console area, an arcade area, retro gaming tournaments, and some giveaways, prizes, photo ops, meet and greets, 8-Bit Air t-shirts will be on sale. You can save 10% on your tickets, any ticket, using code 8 Eric. Be there or be square, bitch!